Okay, you two friends, this is what I'm going to use to knock the voltage down to the radio, about 10 volts. It's called an auto transformer, hardwired 168 series from Hammond Manufacturing. And I downloaded their catalog. And this, uh, this tells you what it is. It's, um, it's not isolated. Only Use it where only voltage change is required. And I figured that's good enough. I didn't have to really isolate it with an isolation transformer to the radio. And then um, 50 or 60 hertz. They say 115 volts input. You got output taps the 90, 85, 95, 105, 110, 115, and 125. It says ideal for manual line voltage adjustment or electronic equipment or small appliance operation. And uh, says, remember, these do not convert line frequency. So I, I got the 168B. It could do 200 volt amps, the same as 200 watts. And the radio takes, uh, needs 135 watts to run it. So, oh, well, that's what it takes to run. So I got the 168B. And there's a schematic for it here. Just basic auto transformer. An auto transformer is like one step below Variac. Variac has a knob that you could adjust adjust it. And the auto transformer is um, you know just has the taps on it. So um, forty five bucks. I figure that's that's not too bad. And. Um, can handle 200 watts and all that and here it is here I'll turn the turn the light on and here it is right here this is uh, this is it I got it in the mail already I ordered this from uh, Newark electronics and Newark's pretty good they had the lowest price and uh, good service and all that so uh, I recommend getting things from Newark it's a good place to get things from, and uh, got to figure how the how these wire how the wiring works on it. And it says here auto transformer 168B, primary 115 volts. And it's interesting how they list everything as 115 volts as a primary because I think mainly um, voltage today is like 125 volts. That's what's coming to my house, 124 volts. List 115 volts, 200 volt amps, 50, 60 hertz, and it shows the secondary voltages here. Made in Canada. It's well made, it's pretty heavy. Now, what I also got was this retro, the retro kind of wiring cable. I got some of that from a place called Radio Days like D-A-Z-E and that's that's pretty good cord I used that before and I got this box here now what I figure I could do is put this transformer in the box like so or maybe this way it's just an idea put it in the box and what I could do is get me some like strain relief here and like a strain relief here for for this cable like I could I could run some of this this retro cord out out of the box and then use a strain relief so it doesn't strain it and I want to do that because I want to wire it inside here I don't want to stress this wiring out I just want to cap off what I don't use and I want to splice the wire inside the box here and then bring out say say have the input where it plugs into the wall and then I'm gonna have a maybe a, a socket on this side but I do have a retro socket that I can use for the plug and I got me also you know some some more retro plugs so I'm thinking about 
mounting this inside the radio but mounting it on the cross member that goes across the back of the radio mount it like that and then I could have a have a cord come out plug into the wall have a socket come out on this side I could plug the radio in and and this thing will be supplying 115 volts to the radio you know once I figure how to how to wire it and I don't I don't know I, I'm thinking about leaving this open because I don't know how hot this will get I don't think it's gonna get too hot because I'm running it under the 200 watts you know it's, it could take 200 you know it could handle 200 watts but I'm only going to run 135 watts you know initially I said well you know maybe I could just put the cover on this too but I, I think I can't do that I think I'm gonna have to leave it open for the air or I could put the cover on drill holes in the cover and holes in the top I may just leave it open like that and then the wiring could be inside just mount that in the back of the radio and I wanted to do this because hang on a second I could have used like for example these are like what power resistors look like these aren't the right values you get like a power resistor Let's see I could have mounted that on top of the chassis but I read some analogy and it says that's like kind of pressing your foot on the gas on the car and holding the brake at the same time and that's going to be sitting on top of the radio kind of cooking and it's not going to look right on the radio and um, I guess I could have used the the bucking transformer was was second my second choice but I didn't want to mount the bucking transformer on top of the radio chassis either so I figured it would be better to get this auto transformer and change the voltage right before it even gets to the radio you know so make the voltage 115 volts and plug the you know have the radio plug right into here you know and that way if I ever want to take the chassis out of the radio I could just disconnect the radio from from this box that's mounted you know in the radio cabinet itself you know just disconnect the radio from from this and take the chassis out and work on the bench or something like that but this this I figure would be good to just uh, mount on that cross member of the radio and uh, this is going to convert it to 115 so that's it that's kind of my idea and um, that's 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 it so anyway folks have a great day bye